Welcome everybody to 48 to Talk, episode number 79. That's right. I am your host, Rage Bali, as always. Joining me this time is DX Sakamina on the right, Derek on the bottom left, and that Canadian guy on the bottom right. I hope I can see, uh, because Skype decided to do an update. Yay! Oh, man, that means everything is gone. <laughs> Yay! So what do? We download Pretty Discord. Much. Maybe Discord helps. Well, Discord doesn't want to show. So now I'm looking at these pictures and everybody else, or we're going to be using uh, DX Backup so you can see. So I don't know how the show is going to end, but hey, let's have fun. Well, we'll find out, I guess. Oh, boy. Also, of course, this is on the day where the Netherlands, for the first time ever, has a code red where literally rooftops get blown away. It's like a or mini tornado. Away, or people get blown Glo away. Global warming, not a thing. No, not, um, not a thing. But yeah, hey, <laughs> and again, thank you for waiting, audience, because we had also a business schedule, and then we had, like, <laughs> North Pole weather in can Canada, so <laughs> <laughs> this wow. is a very fun week, I would say. Mm. Yeah, First off, Derek, welcome back oh, to your country. How was your trip? Yeah. Yeah, well, well, first of all, I'm really happy, Robin, you're still alive and well, and your rooftop was not blown off. Like, I saw some buildings had their roofs yeah. blown off in the news. It was pretty, I was like, what? It was weird. Apocalypse, um, apocalypse. And, <laughs> yes, and uh, Yayo, happy to see you are still alive and well, not frozen, and um, ultimately taken over by the storms that you've been having. <laughs> of course, I, I didn't think a little bit of storms could actually really affect you. Um <laughs> Exactly. <laughs> Look at the deity. Um, no, I uh, yeah, my my trip to Japan this time was um, it's it's rather comprehensive. I'm gonna, of course, write about it. In my blog. It's gonna be probably a novel. I could probably sell on Amazon. It's gonna be so big. But a lot happened in ten days that I was there. Um, really quickly to all the people that did comments on the last video. I'm so sorry. I didn't get a chance to look at them. Um, it, well, I mean, I read them. I'm sorry, I read them, but I didn't get just a comment on them because. Uh, I was so busy in Japan, but I'm back on commenting now, so please fire away this time with many comments because I will fire right back. Um, I really like doing the comments, so it killed me. I couldn't do it, um, but I just – I was so busy because um, my trip to Japan this time was actually meant to meet with idols and idol managers to oh, wow. get them to commit to another show that I want to do uh, nice. in America, and, and it went – it went very well. I, I don't want to say anything until everything's confirmed, but went good. Also, um, I was able to go to uh, the AKB store uh, really quickly, and I picked up Tony Marka's 2018 um, birthday cow. Yeah, baby. <laughs> so I, have, I have last year's and this year's, so I'm very excited. Um, and, and I ended up um, getting a Nakanishi Chiori uh, coaster, oh, even I though that's not what I wanted. Like <laughs> yeah, I, did, I didn't win this at the cafe, but what happened was um, I actually had won uh, some somebody else. I, I it's a Kenki say or some I don't know. And uh, there was a bunch of Wotas trading, and I just went up to them like, you know, who can I get? And they, I was looking at what they had, and this Tiori one just really stuck out. So oh, nice. <laughs> so I hung out with Tiori for a little bit, sort of in a way. And um, yeah. Did you have was, food, uh, or did you only have a drink? Yeah. I only just, I just get like a peach drink. It's like oh, like five bucks or something. Yeah. yeah. It's don't get the food. Yeah. Never get. I the food. Did, I did take pictures of the menu, um, the new updated menu, and some particularly interesting ones. I took one of Koji Mako's uh, food, so I'll, yeah, you'll have to check that out. But I'll, I'll be putting that on my blog. Um, but yeah, just it, it was great. It was a lot of fun. I went to an idol show every single day. Um, some some days I went to two idol shows in one day. Uh, so I definitely did the idol thing. Also, um, just a really quick thing. Um, for Necronomital, um, I was able to work behind the scenes at Tower Records in Shibuya one of the days, and I was actually like staff member. So I got to go all up and down Tower Records behind the scenes. I got the girls, brought them down to the live act. Um, Ricky, son, Necronomital's manager, really trusted me to do that. Um, I'm kind of on a joking level with the girls now. Like um, the way I speak sometimes with my Japanese, sorry, uh, the one girl that wears the white face makeup, uh, the Shiranuri makeup. Um, she likes to tease me a lot now anytime I speak Japanese. So it's, it's we're getting kind of a little bit more acquainted, which makes me happy. Um, but yeah, it, it, just little things like that. I did so much this time and um, very happy to report that if, if I pull off what I'm trying to pull off um, with my idol show this time around, it's going to be probably the biggest idol show outside of Japan 
probably ever. So it's it's gonna be ridiculous. Oh wow! And so, uh, just just wish me luck, guys, because so far so good. But so I'll explain it all. On schedule right now. Yeah, everything's on schedule. Everything's good. Have you know two groups, one hundred percent confirmed. Getting hopefully a couple more. But uh, yeah, I will say this: um, the Idol World is awesome. Uh, <laughs> yeah. I, I spent so yeah. much time being an Idol fan this past ten days, and it's just it's it's home. It's really home. Oh, wow. Even AKB is still very much so much home. You know what I mean? <laughs> so yeah, it was awesome. good. Thanks for asking. Awesome. And happy to be back. Happy to be back, guys. Happy to be back. Even with all of our technical difficulties. Yeah, I don't care. Not even funny. All the oh my god, the... <laughs> two hours. Two hours yeah. of video doing this. After a long day of work, I think ah, oh, quick show. Let's make it up. No. <laughs> nope. <laughs> nope. <laughs> Nope. 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 <laughs> okay, but glad to hear that. But Thank you. yeah, we ha do have a lot and a lot. But again, so we're recording this uh, late and we're also doing our usual schedule. So expect to see like two uploads and, you know, we'll see what happens. Yeah. But we promised uh, last time we're going to watch this and mm. we did. Well, yep. I did. I don't know how about the rest or you already watched it. Uh, the STU 48 mm. documentary. Oh, yeah. And before we start, I'm hearing an echo on think on DX's side, yeah, but that's probably be. the recording. Yeah, it might be, but might be sadly. <sighs> technical difficulties, people. Yeah. I'm sorry. Okay. Mm -hmm. Um. Yeah. So the STU48 documentary. This was actually very interesting, mm -hmm. and and this was the short version. The new version is coming out next week, I believe, or the 25th, about that area. Um. Well, basically, they they exampled like almost all of the girls. I would say mm -hmm. they really displayed what SCU hardships were and how rushed it was. How mm -hmm. they had so many upsets. Their debut was delayed because yeah. of all the, the boat, boat thing, the of boat course, itself. and um, the pressure of performing. And they've been pushed in there. The singles, you know, the coupling songs were in there even before they debuted. So, um, yeah. What what are the types of things you want to mention? Can you name something that was really stood out for you in the documentary? And I think mm. let's go with Derek first. Yeah, um, the the documentary I felt was exactly what we've been kind of talking about. Um, you know how I've mentioned um, several <laughs> me. technical you. difficulties. Yeah. Um, <laughs> Human difficulties. Oh, sorry about that, guys. Um, sorry, that was probably really loud. Uh, no, so basically, um, here's the thing. We've been talking about how, you know, a, a documentary is one of those great, great ways to see a group uh, for who they are, who's in the group, get to know them even even a little bit. It helps, right? And, and that's exactly what I knew the SEO documentary was going to do, and it did that. It did that and more. Um, my impressions were twofold. First of all, I, again, you just said it, Robin, the, the difficulties they face, I'm glad to know that their frustration was our frustration. They're like, where's our boat? And, and we've been saying that for how long now? And, and, and I like the fact that the girls were not um, you know, immune to that frustration, and they actually voiced it. So that was good in a way um, that we, we actually got to hear from their side how hard that was for them. I like that a lot. Um, even though I don't like their situation, I like the fact they still did this tour. They showed the tour, which was actually pretty cool. Um, and, and they still just went full steam ahead. But they had the cheap <laughs> little boat image in the background on stage. Yeah. That was kind of funny. But mm -hmm. um, but they, they gave it their all. They gave it their all. So I got to give it up to the girls. They just thrust themselves in it and screw it. You know, we're just going to make it happen. Two, second thing, um, what was interesting was the one girl, I can't remember her name, but she couldn't, she wasn't. She, I think she was the Hiroshima representative, and she um, couldn't dance, right? Yeah. Yeah, she could. She wasn't good enough, and um, and then they did let her actually do it for her prefecture, and um, she was like so nervous, and the girls were being so supportive, but it was interesting to see a full fledged AKB48 idol sitting at home watching her team on on mm -hmm. the computer and saying, "Yeah, I'm happy for them," and then just break down because she's like, I, I wish I could be there. And that's that, ladies and gentlemen, is what the idol world is like for these girls. Exactly. You know what I mean? And, was and, it, was and that also, Kuka, by the way? Or? I don't know. I don't, it wasn't Kuka. Um, and it was somebody else. And then, um, and then also, there was that real, real young girl that got super scolded because they're like, you know, you're basically screwing up everything, little girl. And I'm thinking, this girl's like, what, like 13 years old or something. I'm just like, 
cut the girl a break. Like, yeah. <laughs> oh, I mean, they were pretty brutal about it. Yeah, like but, moments like cut the cut the cameras. And they don't yeah, film exactly. this. No, they like, filmed anything. Yeah, like, like like let's cut the like. But here's the thing. That's the idol world. Yep. And and I'm really glad they showed that because this is why we all are doing this. This is why we support them. Mm -hmm. It's why we ask everybody to support them because these are young girls that need that kind of support. When you're sitting at home, you're in this group, this famous group, and you're at home not being part of the famous group. That's like gut-wrenchingly hard. And then, then you see if that's like your 13-year-old daughter on stage getting like reamed out <laughs> because she has to learn incredibly complex dance moves. I, 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 don't, I, I don't know. It hurts. It hurts, but – that's part of the joy of being an idol fan mm. and being an idol is, is that process of going from being reamed out to being the one who can ream out others because you're so good. So it's it, it was just it was, they, I love that they showed warts and all. It, yeah. it, they didn't shy away. So great documentary for that reason. Great great documentary. Just a little short, but yeah. So really the girl you mentioned that was sitting at home, she was doing showroom. Yeah. Um. But but her name is Kukawa or something like that, right? Kai Kokona, no. I think. Kukawa. Uh, it's not Kuka. No, it's okay, not Kuka. So it's so Kai, it's not Kai Kuka. Koko, I think, yeah. Oh, yeah, because I, I heard some lyrics, of course, because we heard like, a lot of things about Kuka, but it's not her. No, no, no. Um, no. But, yes, it's, you know, she was uh, doing her showroom stuff, and, yes, he got upset, and, you know, she's showing the hardship. She's like, she wants mm -hmm. to be there, mm -hmm. but it's, it's it's a giant group, and you only have a Senbatsu of, of course, 16. Um, oh, that, they, they, that was... Yeah. I'm sorry, I mean, I was going to say, that was really hard when they announced the Simbatsu, and yeah. you see these girls' faces just crumble. Am I in? Am I not in? Yeah. Ugh. That well, we, in the meantime, we already have graduation announcements from mm -hmm. STU 4A, or the end of the... And probably that was it. They're like, oh, I'm not good enough for a 16. Well, no career for me. Then, then they decide mm -hmm. to go to school or something else. Uh, I do like the fact they also showed the good sides. Um the first, it was also like a mini documentary for Okada Nana. Yeah. And <laughs> showing, you know, a reflect on her last documentary and now in this situation, how do you see yourself? And she's very happy with this. Um, it, it shows she has still has purpose. And what well, we know, obviously, know she's very respected in the STU 48 uh, group. And she, you know, she's saying she's a bad captain. I'm like, well, no. It's like you have like a different uh, side of you. I do like the fact that she's teaching the girls how to know um, what do you do during MCs or during free play songs. And she's have, showing them to have fun because that's her style. Normally in Team 4 stages, you can see her running around, sitting on, like, uh, finding people to hug or, um, you know, yeah. <laughs> sitting in chairs, play around. And that's a good idea because, you know, not all of them are great in MC because you just saw. When they had MC, they were stuttering. They had problems. Mm. Uh, again, the one who was 13-year-old, she had a problem. Even just announced her name, just a nervous mm -hmm. system, like mm -hmm. that. Um, so I like that a lot with with Dachan showing how she, you know, she's a very reliable person, even though she, uh, she doesn't know it. And I like the fact they showed how uh, Yumiko is actually the, now the uh, center of SU48. And well, it's it's. They call her an airhead, but mm -hmm. it's, it's like it's her pace. It's, it's yeah. she knows it, and I can clearly see why she was chosen for the center or the receptive role mm -hmm. of SCU forty eight. And we'll see what happens in the future because they already announced like, well, look out for this one, and this one was like the, the young version, but she's very reliable, and she can be the future captain. If I look at her, she is the. Well, I wouldn't say replacing captain, but she will be the next captain for STU 48 if not at the size, you know, no more canning position or anything. Like so, that. if you were to give a description of her current role, it would be like a vice captain, like an understudy or something like that. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, advisor. Just yes, vice captain would advisor, be a very good yes. role for her. Not that yeah, the yet, one you're but... talking about, she was pretty strong, you know, in the documentary. She was very strong. And, um, Takano, I think, definitely had a lot of help with that girl. I know who you're talking about. And I, I like that they showed that. Yeah. So, very Iwata cool. Hina. Iwata Hina. Iwata, thank you. Iwata. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> yes. Um, on the Keeping rest on of the side, their performances, what also was gradually shown, is like their first performance against their last performance. So, you can see their growth. And you got to remember, mm -hmm. we see a documentary for like 45 minutes, but that's a span of like yeah. months yeah. yeah oh sorry <laughs> no <laughs> it's, it's good well, yeah yo what did you think about it uh i actually didn't watch it yet 
Oh. But like, I, while you're talking about it, I was skipping, so like, I know names. Uh-huh. But like, where is Kuka? So yeah, that's all I say. <laughs> well, yeah, this is actually quite yeah. a good question. Seriously yeah. absent, yeah. <laughs> like, she gets no love from 48 AKS, man. I None. guess she, she, can't, she just can't get a break, I would say, so yeah. She can't, no. She's... She's not long for the AKB world, I think. I think she's going to realize, what am I doing? I could be my own star. Like, like yeah, I don't she need these was guys. Already, so, yeah. <laughs> she was. She's like, I, I went from that to this. You know, this, and whatever. But I, but, but we don't know that yet. Kuka might still have a resurgence. You never know. Maybe. Let's hope so. Let's hope so. Let's hope. So the documentary uh, overall, um, it's a very good basic documentary. It shows mm-hmm. them how they started, what the hardships were, and in the end... It's not a happy ending. It's just, hey, this group is on the rise. They even showed the end that when Sashi announces she's leaving. And what I liked is some of them were like, I wish she would stay longer so I could steal like a little mood from her. Mm-hmm. But they were like, they weren't like, um, yeah, because Sashi didn't do anything for the group to be honest. And it was all Nachan, and they all thanked Nachan for exactly. it. It's like, it's mm-hmm. fine, and this is gonna be a strong group. And that's what Sashi said. It's like. I need to go back to HKT because I can see that this group is a very strong competition for HKT 48. And and not only that, but I, I think H, HKT really needs somebody at this point, considering everything no. that's going on with them and their, you know, their personnel issues. And, and uh, Sasha needs to go back there and clean house and yep. uh, get them all whipped back into, you know, line. And one also just to be there uh, as support, considering some of the things that are happening. So, mm. Yeah. Uh, before we go to that, I would say SCU48 also had debut of their show. Yep, uh, set to bingo. Set to bingo. All right, DX, take it away. Well, the first episode from Set to Bingo was pretty much, I would say, an introductionary episode for the mainstream, I would say. A uh, couple of things, yep. uh, just one thing that really stood out was the saxophone performance from Takino Yumiko. It was oh, awesome. Nice. I was saw that part. Awesome. <laughs> so, okay, but basically to, to premise, it was um, it was like in a handshake event or they, they were performing like a handshake event and the MC, the one the woman in the suit, she wouldn't let go. She wouldn't like let go and it was like the girl was trying to let go and then all of a sudden Yumiko started playing on a saxophone like a song. It's like, aren't Aitakata, you being actually. an idiot? Or was mm. it Aitakata? Yeah. I think oh, so. there was there was a thing called "Aren't you being an idiot?" or something. Mm. That's what that's what I saw. It's like translation thing. Mm. Uh, but basically, it was a very good comedic timing. So that's that stole the show on that side because it was bring out character and just all laughs around. Just in, in, in like a when variety happens, sometimes an awkward situation happens to make a joke go too long. Yep. <laughs> and she exactly knew the timing to step in and make it funny. Mm-hmm. Yeah, true, yeah. Very cool. So, and the other things I saw was the, the uh, bridge episode. walk competition was kind of funny actually. When they were all like, uh, I know if you're familiar with Ray Wyatt, but that bridge thing he does. During I know, yeah, yeah, that yeah, happened yeah, yeah. as well. So well, Suda Akari uh, does it as well. Just you know, just the crab walk, yeah, uh, upside down. So it's, it's very scary to see, but very good for the commercial they use it. Um, I'm talking about the part with the big lady. MC. Oh, when she I threw, uh, when she threw, remember? Yeah, yeah. yeah. So, so, so oh, by the way, I'm sorry if I'm yawning. It's just <sighs> midnight over here and technical difficulties and long day, and this is very unprofessional. So I'm sorry for that. <laughs> anyway, um, <laughs> the the big girl, the MC, uh, she was like, yeah, having like a sumo competition. Yeah, <laughs> and she was throwing them down, throwing them down, and and. Eventually, all of them trying to attack her, but she's like, no, 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 no. So it was really funny on the variety side, so they got it nailed down. But, mm-hmm. yeah, huh. good, mm-hmm. a good start for SCU 48, uh, I would say, and I'm looking forward to more episodes. Yeah, so upcoming one, uh, next episode should well, be on Monday, I think. Well, and... well wait, 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 are you, are you okay with the host? I mean, because I know you were a little initially like, why did they have to get her? Um... Yeah, it more like I think it's also good for them for the host themselves. It's the same ah, thing okay. when um, 
uh, when Rush Hour came, we were like skeptic, like mm, I'm not sure. But eventually, Just give it a couple of episodes, yeah. So they'll yeah, grow a bond, time, and yeah. and we'll see what happens. Do, and then last question, and then I know Yayo has something to say. Um, do we have any idea if this is going to be subbed or not? I actually do not know, to be quite honest. Um, Summers, at... Summers that watch this, please. Maybe sub maybe Maritime sub can do it. Can pick That's it up it. since they did the Maritime documentary. Sub it. Maybe, maybe good enough subs. He says uh, something like he, that. He has his hands full with like so many right now. Yeah. So well, this thing he has his own schedule. He or she, and um, yes, or she. We're 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 also just very, you know, humbled that he that he posts so many yeah. subs. Yeah. It's fine. If he doesn't. Who cares? In the meantime, um, I still have to sub HKT videos too. Like, oh, you, oh, you think? Oh, you think? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So, yeah, yeah. Um, Oh, sorry. Yeah, yeah, you go ahead first. Yeah, what were you going to say? I'm sorry. I just hijacked everything. Go ahead. Uh, th there's, like, the funny uh, thing on the STU bingo, though. Like, the the girl's like, oh, there's a fisher here. It's like, oh, who? Like, this girl was an actual fisher. Like, <laughs> she goes to fish. <laughs> wow. <laughs> that, during that part, it's like, oh, who's the fisher here in this group? It's like, she, she, she. Like, wow, what? They like they show her a picture. It's like, like she has like a big fish and like on a real fishing pole. I'm like, what the freak? <laughs> <laughs> and she actually knows like the, like the seasons of the fish. Like, oh, what can I catch right now? It's like, oh, this fish, this fish. <laughs> and she has like the whole list. I'm mm. like, oh my god, there's an actual fisher. SPU. <laughs> so wow. if the book. If the boat goes stranded in somewhere, you know who to rely on. <laughs> <laughs> so you have like a whole fishing event and on the boat. Yeah, yeah seems like it, yeah. <laughs> Very cool. <laughs> All right. Well, in the meantime, what I got announced as well is an, uh, another STU48 show. So they're getting another one and it's with um, Chidori, uh, STU48. Tome Chidori Nobu Setoshi Shoujo Oendan. And it will be hosted by comedy uh, duo Chidori Nobu. Yeah. Um, oh, wow. They've been in the business for a while, so that's. Uh, seems interesting, that's actually. It, it seems like it will be a, like a variety show like Keiki Takakanai or uh, Nogisaka Under Construction. So they're going definitely a different route. But no, they actually, have uh, what I see here from the new Chidori show is going to be like Team H Antaroke or Nigata No Friend, actually. Maybe because um, the first two uh, guests uh, will be uh, from NMB48, Shibuya Nagisa and Ogita Ayaka. Hmm, okay. Very interesting. So I'm looking forward to that. Do we have a date when it comes uh, up? January 28th. Yeah. Okay. Not upcoming, but next Sunday. Yeah. The Sunday after that, I would say, yeah. Looking forward to that. All right. Uh, anything else on STU48 before we move on? Mm, I think we've got it all, I think. Let's Justice for Kuka! That's Besides that, <laughs> sorry about somebody, that. Somebody please help this poor girl. <laughs> okay. Um, yeah. So then I'll uh, take one thing from STU48, and that's Okada Nana. She also has something special, I would say, this week, and I oh, wish yeah. I could have seen it in its entirety because it's amazing. Nacho's first solo concert. Oh yeah. <laughs> I, yeah, 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 so yeah, when was yeah. the Blu-ray going to be released? Because I actually need to know. <laughs> The Blu-ray is well. I'm 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 gonna find it in the meantime. But what what did come out uh, out of it is Okada is gonna release a photo book. Oh yeah, her I know first is going to be photo book. <laughs> uh, not well, me, not hey, me. I'm, I'm hoping for a birthday present, maybe. Hmm? <laughs> <laughs> no, but I'm looking forward to it. It was on her wish list, and she's getting it already. Uh, this looks like a very good year for. Uh, Oh, Karanana. But, yeah, that's definitely something uh, that I'm going to get. Let's see, when is the <laughs> Blu-ray or DVD? I, I think it will be around... Holding... Uh, da -da 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 -da. Oh, it no, it's still coming up. It doesn't have a date yet. Oh, okay. Too bad. <laughs> but anyway, um, she performed like very, very tough songs, I would say. Yeah, and everything she pretty much live, I would say. What we saw, she cut up her own costume live on stage. She handed out Choco Mint. Uh, like, a lot of members were there supporting her. 
Uh, she did a few interesting songs, I would say, very vocal songs to her style. And uh, she redeemed herself with uh, Michino Ballet. She did the uh, what Mayu did with the uh, Thanksgiving, uh, like oh, the yeah, very yeah, yeah. 50 styles mm -hmm. song I'm looking forward to. She did, um, well, it's not Varuki, but uh, Nanaki. <laughs> Nanaki, yeah. Looking forward to that one. Exactly. Uh, she mm -hmm. get, she did a Sayane song, and it kept going and going. She did some, she had a female dancer doing like uh, parts with, and just how amazing it all is. So I'm, I'm, and she's very happy, and I'm very happy. I'm looking mm -hmm. forward very to see this performance in its entirety. Mm, yeah. A couple of songs or in the encore that really stood out from the set list I see I'm looking at right now is Glamorous Sky from Na Nakashima Mika, mm -hmm. Don't Say Lazy from Kayon, mm. and Days from Flo. Don't say lazy, don't yeah. Do you know how long it is that I when I heard that song for the last time? It must be years. So I'm really looking forward to that one as well. So it's, it's one of her favorite uh, shows, I believe. Yeah. So I really so, want to hear that one. So yeah, I, I, when I was saw the GG Press stuff, I heard those songs, I'm like, hmm, those aren't AKB songs. Nice. She, she yeah. likes anime, though. She watches anime. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> the community yeah. gave me a card. It's like, oh, it's like, hey, here's the community card. We want you to join the Nachan group. I'm like, what? <laughs> <laughs> wow. <laughs> oh, hi, hi, Tiffany, if you're watching. Hi. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> I, I think Nachan's gonna have a stellar year. Very, very oh. dark horse. Oh, definitely, yeah. Like your your girl, your girl honestly is the future of AKB. Um, I even like the fact that, like in the SCU documentary, what we we got like a a real sense of her humbleness and, and her self doubt. Um, which I'm not saying is like a good thing, but it is in the sense that it just kind of showcases how human she is. Um, it's very reminiscent of Natan, or I mean, sorry, Atan. <laughs> Take yeah. away the end and, and you basically have Atan. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's just, you, you have you have another Atan there in the way she uh, um, looks at herself. But overall, what I like about Natan is she always overcomes what she's dealing with. Um, she is a, she, she would be the ideal number one girl, like the ideal ace for me. Um, even though we've talked about like this is saying this year is gonna be nuts, but it's <laughs> yeah. like not Natan, she could sweep in for the win here if she keeps going with this momentum. I mean that that's whole concept that was ridiculous. The documentary helps, you know, she's just been killing it. She's been killing it. So if she can keep her set songs up, coming up. Yeah, yeah. Like, yeah. Like, like, it sounds amazing. It, yeah, if she can keep doing it. Um, I, I mean, obviously, it's clear who a AKB has pegged as their future. Uh, we all thought it'd be me on, but I'm, it's not. Nah. Too, you know? Yeah, right? Uh, no offense, but yeah, yeah. yeah, sorry. Just mm. step to the side. Nachan's got this. But I also think, you know, she has some pretty stiff competition because, you know, Sione is still up and about, right? you know, crushing it. Um, she just announced her, you know, second, you know, concert solo thing. And then, you know, Jarena is going to, I mean, she's coming on ferociously. And HKT has the oh, double wait, threat. Wait. Oh, please, oh. go ahead. Jarena ferociously, you know. <laughs> you said it. Because, like, she's now a wrestling fan. So oh, yeah. Like, <laughs> <laughs> ah, oh, gotcha. Ah! Intentionally. Wow, yes. So, I mean, you know, you, each group has definitely, like, big big contenders you know what i mean but i'm really thinking natsan has got it and I, this is a good start for her finally she gets something going in her direction so mm. i'm up for it, man big time love the girl yeah um then there was also of course the coming of age um mm -hmm. celebration concert too. oh yeah well the biggest thing that came out of it my god even even on on nippon they had to mention it Oh man! Is, <laughs> they performed a certain song. I don't know the title. Oshimeshi, probably. Oshimeshi, you want to? Yeah, and the fandom community, the members, everyone blew up at the end of the song. So it was performed, of course, by Okada Nana. And well, let's just say her couple, her partner, her marriage proposal, Murayama Yuri. Yep. And, <laughs> They kissed. Oh, they didn't just kiss. Oh, they, they like, did. Oh, that oh, was like, yeah. uh, we're having uh, some fun later tonight, kiss. Like, yep. that was ridiculous. <laughs> I mean, 
Give it up to Nata for going all in. That's that's the Majime part of her. See, when you take a Majime girl and you take a real, supposed to be funny situation, uh-uh. She's uh-uh. like, all right, this ain't going to be funny. This is going to be real. Yep. <laughs> I was, I was so, have to bump up that PG right there, you know? <laughs> no, this, this is, that's like X-rated in the idol world, man. Yep. I mean, it's like, that's about as X-rated as you get with idols in AKB. So I was like, whoa. Hey, re- re- you guys, remember Tattoo from way, way back? Yep. Yeah, of course. <laughs> yeah, basically that. Yeah, pretty much. It, it, was, it was definitely. Definitely that, yeah. It was it was a repeat. <laughs> so what was fun? Um, it was during rehearsal. They didn't practice for the kiss because they're like, nah, they were already. And in between, Nachan was definitely looking like for mints, like mint yeah. for, <laughs> for breath. <laughs> Apparently it didn't 50, help. Think, yeah. <laughs> yeah, but Maria Miri said it didn't help. Um, <laughs> because at the rehearsal, Maria Miri ran away. She was like, no, 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 no. <laughs> she was a kiss all the time, probably. <laughs> <laughs> um. And then Nacho and came up to her, it's like, please do not do that when we're performing it. And it oh, was, yeah. you know, Majime Nacho, and it was yeah. like, okay. And the funny thing is, so, Maria Miri is a Sundere type, so she's very, you know, vocal about it, but she likes it. And, mm-hmm. well, the funny part is, so every fan just went, whoa! just <laughs> crazy because they really loved it no hate so that's very surprising oh, no it was awesome uh komi was there and she took the best picture yeah so, <laughs> so, so she's like and nasha thanked her for it then later komi dropped her phone and had to replace it she's upgrading to an iphone 10 yep <laughs> then, so she, weird, then she complained on twitter she's like i don't know how to use <laughs> how does this work 10. how does this work yeah yeah yeah, yeah old teacher yeah, yeah. <laughs> Well, she, she didn't know the home button. I actually tweeted to her. It's like, well, I work at Apple, so maybe I can help. <laughs> like, um, so that's all funny stuff. There was also like an MC part, I believe, where uh, they showed a video. What do you like about Nachan? And it was Muria Miyuri, Tadaguchi Megu, uh, Saya, I believe, Yumiko, all, all these people. And Muria Miyuri said, um, I like her fingertips. And I yeah. was like, what? <laughs> what does that mean? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and and then there was, there was a Twitter banner. It's like, and she uh, okay, said to me, thank you for liking my fingertips. And she's like, Could you please drop it. It's like, <laughs> well, well th- you know why? You know what it was? It's because uh, Miyama was, um, she was thinking about all the things she said, all the things she said. And she was just like, oh, got, got the tattoo reference there. And, oh, uh, Okay, that's horrible. <laughs> oh no, I applaud you, sir. Oh, that man. was very, very quick win. I was trying to get my comedic time in there. My little techno uh, spirit just got got invoked you, there. No, you got it. It is not enough. Yes, it wow. is not enough. Yes, I'm back. I'm back. I'm back. I'm forty talk people. <laughs> oh man. <laughs> uh, so no. I'm very happy for them. I really love it. I. Oh, it was awesome. If, if this if this was an STU forty eight boat, I would ship it. I would, I would totally, and you know what? I seriously can't wait to see how their children turn out. I'm sure their children are going to be beautiful in the future. It's going to be oh, great. Yeah, definitely. I, <laughs> sorry, I, 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 in all seriousness, I hope management sees this and be like, "This is okay," mm-hmm. and this uh-huh. sells. This definitely sells. Believe me, this. Sells oh yeah, a lot. definitely. <laughs> It's fun um, though. It's fun. It's just it's all in good fun. That's the important part. Well, not tongue cheek. It, very t- well. <laughs> <laughs> Wow. We're just rolling with the Drina puns here. I love yeah. it. It's just so great. Drina would be very... very so when did Drina walk into this podcast again? <laughs> anyway. Yeah, <right. laughs> um, Ferocious. <laughs> okay, sorry. Um, just, just, yeah. That was a very good... It was a great moment. It was the highlight mm-hmm. of the moment and everybody went crazy and Twitter went crazy. Community went crazy. So more of that, please. Uh, then, other than that, we had the Yokoyama Yui solo concert as well. That was, of course, very beautiful. Mm. Just, it, it wasn't, I wouldn't say exciting, but Yui can sing very well. She did also perform Not Yet uh, with Taniguchi, Megu, Kamotsaya, and someone from Teammate, or was it Okabe Rin, I think? Uh, I'll take a quick look. 16th Gen. Oh, wow. Really? Yeah. Very good. It was Taguchi Manaka, yeah. Yeah, so, very impressive. Kudos, sir. Well, 16 didn't perform as well, I believe, right? They also yeah, they had have... a concert. Yeah, they had their own. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so many and... concerts I need to see, man. Oh. <laughs> yeah, and then we're... No, right? we're, 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 we're 
request hour is coming up as well, right? Yeah, actually, yeah, tomorrow, today, actually, uh, today, Netherlands it's time. getting streamed. Like, it uh, is? It is? 25 to number one is getting streamed. Oh, really? Nice. So yeah. that's the Saturday concert. Yeah, the Saturday, yeah. Oh, man, really? One. I'm working. It's in a lake or it, it, or it didn't happen. <laughs> <laughs> I have to work, so I'll see you Same later. here. I have yeah, to work. Yeah, I have to watch it in the Me evening. Because, uh, yeah, like, yeah, yeah. Uh, I think, like, the AKB China thing is actually happening. So that's why, like, the Chinese site gets the... Like, a Chinese website gets a exclusive on it. Uh, broadcasting the, license, probably, yeah. So. Yeah, in China, yeah. Mm. So, ATC, thank you. Because I know you're still part of China, Taiwan, so... <laughs> 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 Ooh, might not want it. <laughs> All right. Yeah. <laughs> we'll see. Okay. Um, we got that then out of the way. Uh, Derek, you want to mention something? I believe. A topic. About, oh, what the HKT mean? Yeah. Let's go to HKT. Yeah. yeah, yeah HKT. Yes. So you know, um, really bit of sad news. Yep. Uh, to kind of mm. change some gears here, um, a, a certain HKT member's uh, father passed away. Tomiyoshi and, Asuka, by the way. Yeah, Tomiyoshi. And, um, you know, uh, Mogi, Mogi lost her dad, what was it, last year? Yeah, year last year. And, uh, and Asuka lost her dad now. Um, our, our, our heartfelt prayers and love mm. go out to her and her family. And... Um, we hope she'll get through this. Uh, you know, take off as much time as you need. Um, she is one of the absolute brightest spots in HKT's entire history. Um, she is a girl with no rival when it comes to that smile of hers, and um, it, it kills me inside to think that that smile isn't going to be there for a while. You know, and and she's so professional and so good about being an idol that it, it you know she did the right thing she took the time off she didn't make it a big deal uh, but i just hope that all the entire 48 community uh as well as the fans um of that community uh you know all the members everyone i, I really hope we can rally around her because you know it was hard for mogi and i know it's still hard for her um you know i i mean i just feel like it is i can't imagine what asuka's feeling you know and it's it's never good to hear this stuff so Heart, heart goes out to her. Um, you know, HKT has just really, you know, been kind of hit hard. They're kind of having like an NMB year already in certain terms of like all kinds of crap going between that and Harpy looking like, you know, wow, <laughs> she's looking pretty rough. And then, you know, then saying she's gone too. Um, you know, surgery. HKT's, yeah, yeah well, surgery. we'll see. Um, it's 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 just, um, yeah, I don't like to see HKT getting attacked, like beat up like this because HKT's like, you know, I they have very they were my favorite group for a long time. You know, until Tani joined SKE. So just basically, I don't know. I I just I feel bad for Asuka. Much love goes out to you. We uh, we wish you and your family the best. But and on the same topic, HKT also wish you to kind of get some speedy recovery of everything going on with you as well. Mm. Um, you well, know, that, I that, that's way. the thing on on HKT. Um, mm. First of all, yeah, my condolences to mm. uh, the lost mm. person. Mm. It's never easy. And uh, hopefully, well, always remember you're not alone in this life. Yep. So yeah, no, exactly. Just, just look Nightmare. back on on the memories, and I can speak mm -hmm. for myself because I also lost my father uh, yep. a few years back. And yep. just remember the good times, and not yep. remember the bad times on that side. Uh, on SK SKT, um, yeah, the thing is, they started out when they started out. They were the young group, the fresh group. Yeah. The fresh mm -hmm. group, yeah. Mm -hmm. That was, well, this is their sixth year going back. Something like that, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And we we had some coming of age, like like I couldn't believe Moriyasu Madoka is now an adult. Mm -hmm. I know, it's, yeah. it's crazy. Crazy, how that <laughs> works, right? Sakura, Sakura, too, Sakura. Sakura as well, yeah. Sakura as well. Sakura, Tan. Tan. Oh, boss is is all, all getting there, so that's. Mm. It it feels weird, and, and maybe it feels weird to them too. And they have to change their style, or they're 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 losing the thing they had. Yeah, and they can't rely on the little sister image anymore. So they yeah, look. even with Maria, that, that, that was the whole situation. Well, she's gotten a lot taller now, so that image is gone. Yabuki Nako and uh, and Tadakamiku, they they lost that you know young child image they're now yeah. also getting into the you know older style 
Mm-hmm. And I wouldn't say that's their own only skit, but yeah, if they want to keep that number one spot, they have to change. And I think Sashi uh, saw this. It's like not even with all the situations that is at hand right now, but maybe she's like, yeah, I think HKT needs for my focus now. Mm-hmm. So I, I really hope that she finds a way. I hope the group finds a way because they can rely on Sasha, of course, forever. And this will be a tough year for HKT. I really believe so. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. But they have their number one, though. And yeah. that's not the number one we're thinking about. I think Yellow got me. And that's uh, the lucky girl from 2018. Oh, yeah. <laughs> it's from HKT. And surprisingly, it's a, I like this one. It's uh, Vivian. Yep. We're kind of Vivian. Wow. Yes. The so number one. The number one. She was very surprised with that. So she's very, she does not good for variety. I'm like, really? You don't think you're good with variety? <laughs> Have you seen your showroom? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> so that's very surprised here, but I really hope for her stellar year. Mm-hmm. Um, other than that, um, the, well, of course, HKT is somewhere else. Uh, Sashi at number 17 is surprising, so she's mm-hmm. going to have maybe a good year. Uh, Yamato Saika from NAB48 at number four, and I liked when she got it because last year she was number one. Or what she, she, she was? She was up there. Yeah, she I was up there. Cyan is like, the dead yeah. middle. Yeah, Cyan was middle last year, I think. Na, na, mm. no, 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 no. Or was it two years ago? Two years she got uh, first. Two oh, years two years. Yeah. Really? Was it two years? Who got first last year? This year it was uh, Cyanis was uh, like middle, like yeah. she's dead. Middle. No, what, what? Dead middle this year for 2018. She got fourth. Yeah. No, Cy- Cyan is dead middle. Yeah, last year, yeah, 2017 she was. 2017, yeah. we're getting confused, yeah. So 2017 she was dead middle. Yeah. No, no, the- this year. She was shown in the first episode. It's like, oh. The not so interesting and the interesting members. Like really, Sayane. no. Yamamoto Sayaka, NMB forty eight, became fourth place. Yeah. She was thinking, are you, you thinking of Jarina? Yayo? Oh, was it Jarina? Oh, I think oh it was, sorry. Yeah, I want to say it was J- J- Jarina. Yeah, and that's alright. I, I can understand. Can I... Because no, well, there was a, there was a nice picture when she became fourth. She went like. Yeah, I mean, yeah, she was. And a few days later, she announced her second tour. She's like, all right, right, right. let's do this. Well, the the thing with the lucky girl rankings too. I mean, and and, and there, it's interesting because uh, Bibian, you know, my interaction with her at a handshake was nothing short of amazing. Everybody that talks to her is amazing. She is she is the one that I always notice when I I've seen HKT perform three times now, and um, you know, they she just stands out above them all. Um, she is definitely definitely could be easily. Uh, the future of HKT as far as like who they need, you know, if Sakratan decides to just go up the rails or something, Harpy's out. So, and I don't think she's coming back. So I, I mean, that, that leaves pretty much Vivian in my opinion, you know, and it's just, she can do it though. And I love that she was so humble. I love, I, everything about her is great, but what I like about her most is she's having fun. Yeah. She always has fun. And that, and she reminds you what the idol world is can be you know for for people it could be a good time mm-hmm. and and to see her get that and she was so emotionally happy like i almost was like a little teary when i saw because i'm like oh baby <laughs> and like everyone's like hanatan hanatan even like when hanatan would start crying and trying to steal baby and thunder it, it's still to me it's like nice try hanatan it didn't work <laughs> it's baby mm. and then the opposite <laughs> look who got dead last i was like that's interesting yeah, oh, the captain, captain oh, man. of A AKB. Captain. The flagship she captain took, as well, yeah. The flagship captain. She took wow. it well, though. She took it well. Um, and they did try to pad it a lot more because I think after last year with Jury's, like, epic meltdown, they're thinking maybe we should go a little easy this year. Yeah. <laughs> well, 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 we'll get to that. But, but, oh, okay. please, go ahead. Go ahead. Um, the most fun is that the colors, of course, the pink yeah. and silver. And then Oda I now was like, oh, not fair. It's like, why are yeah. you crying? <laughs> now they're trying to steal the thunder there. No, but with what you said with Judy, she came up and she also had like a bad ranking. Oh, it's uh, bad, yeah. Yep. Yeah. And just 
she became 279th. And she had like a very adult reaction. But I think that's the difference. They go hard on the adults and they um, take it easy with the, the younger ones. Like with uh, Yu Yui. She was also like, oh, we don't have anything for you. But you you tried your best. That's nice. But with Judy, it was like, no, it's over. Your career is dead. You're done. Oh, <laughs> You're done. Man, that was so bad. <laughs> You're done. The god of descent, they, they called yeah. it on the <laughs> Monster. Wow. Like Paradise. <laughs> And, and she, she was really upset, but I think uh, Takahashi Judy can overcome this. Mm. She, well, she, and she had a good year, even though she was a bad luck. I would say. I would say I would say it's just it's palm reading. It's uh, take it with a grain of salt. I mean, historically speaking, it has been pretty accurate, weirdly enough. But I would say like it I'm also. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Right. Exactly. But I. But I'd also say. Um, <laughs> I, yeah. yeah. I. I yeah. would also say. <laughs> That um, it is interesting because even even when they're not being ranked in Sasankyo, they're being ranked with Lucky Girl rankings. So it's like it's like as as an idol in AKB, you're constantly being ranked, qua- you're quantified. Like it's just one more way to do that with these girls. And and it, I don't know. I guess you can take it as you will, but I I don't know. I. I, I don't want to see Jerry upset like that because I love her and she's so weird and just different. And I, I don't want her to get discouraged and I don't be like, well, screw this. I'm going to quit because I can see her doing that. And then I also think like for somebody like, uh, you know, baby, you know, I hope this boosts her so much that she's 30 times more gankier, which that's scary to think about. But that's what I, I like. I like idols that go so nuts and go so hard on stage and mm-hmm. have fun, you know. And like I said, when I met her, she was she was a ball of energy. I could she just wouldn't <laughs> shut up. It was awesome. I love Speak, her. Speaking of ways to go nuts and crazy and all that, your favorite, Tani Monica. Did you see her yeah. ranking? She oh, ranked yeah. and they didn't even talk about it. I'm just like, yeah, thanks for having her on there. They didn't basically didn't do anything with it. So Well, yeah, but her ranking though. Yeah. Thirty. I mean it, it's 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 just like yeah. Like it's pretty high. Nah, I she need to be number one through ten, you know, to have a discussion because because she's it's that's her problem is she's falling she's one of those middle ground idols now. All of her whole her whole ganky her whole weirdness everything is just getting pushed to the side. Like I I have a really strong feeling she's gonna announce graduation this year because she's getting older too. So I I don't want it to happen because it'll really devastate me as a forty eight fan, but. I just I just feel like she's not she's not getting the attention she had. Mm-hmm. You know, you, you you give it to her and then you take it away like that. That's probably more devastating than if you never had it. Mm-hmm. And 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 that's mm-hmm. what's happening with her. So, oh, Tanny fans, come on, we have to unite. So I noticed two things so well. Um, first off, yeah, they didn't use Tanya like that. They didn't use Mako. They 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 they, Mako, they, really. they, 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 they 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 had like a few moments, but it wasn't really what. Um, they didn't use Harupi. Before we, nope. I will go ahead before uh, I'm go aside. Say, uh, you know. Ah, uh, you're complaining about number 30 while Mako gets 258? What? Uh, <laughs> uh, <laughs> what? Good point. Yeah, well, yeah, but Mako got screen time, though. Like, Tani, when, when they talked about Mako's position, she was able to go on and on about how narcissistic she is. Tani didn't yeah. even get, like, a mention. Like, that sucks. Like, I would rather her have been 200-something and got a, a 20 seconds of screen time versus uh, Tani's quick surprise face, and then it was like, oh, we don't even get to see why she was 30th or whatever, you know? Yeah. Mm. So I think I think in that sense, you're, you're, you're Oshi won out. Like, even yeah, if she had but, a bad uh, ranking. Harupi wasn't also mentioned or anything, right? She didn't have any screen time except for being there. there. Yeah. Well, that might not have been such a bad thing. I mean, I, I hate to say it, but she was looking pretty ragged on, the, on there. Again... Idle weight, idle weight, and all. I'm, I'm not talking like you know normal people weight. She asked yeah, exactly, Robin. <coughs> Excuse me. Bless her. Thank yeah. you. She, uh, she did not look healthy. Nope. Uh, and, I mean, this, this is a harpy that at one point we saw was, you know, idle model weight, and then her cheeks were like this big, and I think that might have been a reaction, maybe to medicine. Maybe. I really think it is. Yeah, yeah. I think I Must think it's be. a med- medical reaction. And I just felt bad for her. The the, the yeah. problem is the medical reaction you get with that most of the time, that's one thing, and that's depression. Oh. Uh-huh. Mm-hmm. So because we found out that she didn't have the surgery yet, so it's not – maybe it's painkillers, maybe it's a combination, but I am very worried about how to pee. And so she looked the, out biggest thing, the biggest thing I'm hoping now – and. 
I don't know. Number one is maybe too far, but I hope that she gets like announces that she will enter the Sosenkyo, and the fans will deliver. That's this. I think if we really want to save an idol, and I'll I'll be a, a person who will definitely do that. If she announces she will be in Sosenkyo. Mm -hmm. She'll get a vote of me. Just oh, same for me. Same for me. Ah, it, 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 you know what? That's a good idea. Yeah, me it, too. It, it's in. just, it, it's just more like um, she wants to know, or maybe she, she needs to like something that has a shining light. Let's prove, as a fandom, you know, as a community, let's prove it. Just one vote, like mm -hmm. not ten thousand votes. Maybe if you're, it's your Oshi, of course, ten thousand votes. But one vote. <laughs> if we all do one vote, let's see how high she gets. Yeah, you, you know, that's a good thing because she she right now could have a potential Nachan arc where Nachan went away, she was sick for a while, came back to Senkyo, gave one of the most incredibly devastating and emotional speeches in Senkyo history, um, talking about it very, very openly and candidly. I'm hoping Harpy will do something like that with her cute little lisp. She'll get up there and she'll she'll basically say, look, I, I was screwed up all year. Last year I, I went through some stuff, but I'm back. I'm going to work hard. I mean, who wouldn't support that, you know? So, yeah, let's do that. Let's, as a fandom, you know, we should all just try to give the Harpy some support. You know, it's one thing to sit here on a podcast and talk about this girl's health and speculate, but it's another thing to actually do something about it. And I love, love, love the fact you want to be proactive there, Robin, and, and say, you know what, let's help this poor girl out, whatever she needs. And it, and the, what we can do as a fan, I guess, at this point is just, other than wish her well, is if she's going to be in Sasanki, let's show her some love. That's a great yeah. idea. I really like, like that. Like I said, I'm not mentioning, like, get 10, 20. You can do that. I'm not going to stop you. Even one, though. Even, Even just one. one. How about I mean, just I'm, one? Yeah, I'm buying three CDs probably, and I'll give one to Harpy as well. So yeah. Yeah, I'm 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 ranking up to five maybe this year, <laughs> just because I need I, also need to vote on Komi because we dropped the ball on that last year. Yep. <laughs> I yeah. got to vote for Nachan. And well, you drop you drop the ball. I look how close my Oshi was to being center, and uh, and I could have <laughs> made that happen because I certainly bought enough freaking CDs. And and I'm thinking, well, this year I might have to actually go like even crazier. I don't know how I'm going to do it, but I, I got. Well, you're gotta, probably you're probably in Japan, so. Yeah, but but it's it's not even that. It's just I gotta like sell my Mesa cab head or something to like get enough money to get her some more CDs or something because it's like. Honestly, like I, I was so devastated to see she was like this close to being center. That could have catapulted her this year, you know. Mm, so okay, I got, I got, I got to save her from graduating. I don't want this girl to disappear into the idle ether that happens to all of them once they leave. Well, that or they get pregnant, get married. I don't want to know that either. Come on, forty-eight candidates. What? What's that? Come again? <laughs> He, yeah, said M he said MNL 48 Canada. <laughs> oh, let's not go there. Let's not go there. Let's not yeah, go there. Right. She'll join Maria Abe in Taipei 48 and, or all those those poor girls that actually think they're part of MN MNL 48 when it's just oh, this geez. huge oh, joke man. myth. Oh, God, that play. Oh, don't even get me started, MNL. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Hey, oh, yeah, hey, yeah. hey, but side note. Um, one of our commenters is just really on the ball with BKN, BKN48 information. And I feel like our comment section is becoming like a really cool news story for BKN. BKN which I'm, I'm just saying, keep it up. Or B, BKN. Like BNK. BNK. <laughs> BKN. 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 I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm so, <laughs> I'm so sorry. No, but I'm, I'm saying like um, yeah. whoever's. That person is amazing. Keep keep giving us information because I'm actually learning about uh, the members, and, and I'm I'm starting to get see like they they mm -hmm. got some pretty cool things going on. Isarina went there and whipped some butt. She's like, oh, I ain't going, I ain't going away, I ain't disappearing. I'm Isarina. Like we're gonna make this happen. So kudos to Thailand yeah, for yeah. like actually doing something. <laughs> well, the, this thing with our community. So we now have uh, Jonathan who should be on the show soon, maybe yes. somewhere in the year. Yeah, uh, and as an NGT specialist, I would say. Mm -hmm. We have, I'm going to say Mario. Is it right? Mario, yeah. Mario. Yeah. Well, for STU48. Uh, Mario Lai or Mario World yeah. AKB. Yeah. yeah, Mario's awesome. And if he wants to be on the show, probably well. It's like, we're getting there. It's like, work is still a little busy. We're just gradually getting there, and then I can give more time to this of course and then we can start have people in also if the technical difficulty stuff stops then we can also <laughs> add it there <laughs> yeah that kind of helps <laughs> um yeah so now we have stu and then of course 
but does anyone know the name for that person? Or well, we sticks. can find out maybe in the comments. Oh, sticks from Discord, you mean? Sticks? Yeah, sticks. Okay, for uh, BNK48. Yes, yeah. That, 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 that's uh, pretty good as well for, for uh -huh. all these communities that specialize on these groups. Uh, we of course have also NMB uh, specialists like Andy and um, I'm, I'm going to Andy, 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 though, is about as mysterious as the STU boat because he never wants to come on because he's, yeah. he's just too cool for school. Uh, love Andy, love all his posts, but dude, come on, just come on and have fun. Like, you know, come yeah. on, Andy, we love you. Just, we're not going to yeah. hurt you. Yeah, yeah you uh, can't uh, get Christopher as well, so you can't forget yeah. Christopher as well. Oh, go of course. Yeah, I, I hung out with Chris actually on this trip, and uh, we went and saw Wasserman together. It was awesome. And uh, got to meet Wasserman again, and she's just lovely as ever. And boy, does her voice hit you! Woof, woof. <laughs> so good. Very, very, very good. Mm. Okay. Um. Well, I want to announce this as well because just recently got announced. I think for uh, WIP Queendom. Oh yes. yes. Oh yes. So they announced uh, the main event match, and that's going to be. Uh, Hollywood Jurina uh, with um, Shark Komiyama. Yeah, Shark Komiyama. That was the nickname, of course. Yes. Versus um, Miru and uh, Dasi. Octopus. Dasi. Octopus Dasi. And Dotonbori Shiroma. <laughs> so that, that, that looks like a very good main event. Sadly, not for the title, because the title got stolen at the last yep. event. I want to see uh, that happen. Um, they announced also now the uh, participants cast for the uh, event. Here's my question though: What happened to Miyawaki Sakura? I know. I know. Dun, 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 dun. Wasn't the yeah. whole show revolved around her at first? <laughs> yep, it was actually the drama in, in any case. Yeah, the whole dad dying and uh, getting this new location and then fighting the WIP. Uh, okay, you know, just... you know what? You know what, the Roman. I was it thinking was, about uh, that. It was Show Jim versus uh, Shiogana Jim, I think. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. I, I was thinking about that though. Like, um, that's typical Japanese like shows. Like, the one season will have like nothing to do with the second season in that sense. Like, they'll take yeah. a main okay. character and just they just vanish them. So maybe it's something as simple as that, or maybe Sakuratan's just too busy doing other things. I mean, she might have a whole full schedule this year and we don't even know about it yet. Cause she tends to be that girl in AKB 48 that is always doing something yeah. other than AKB. Well, she recently <laughs> had much free time. True. 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 <laughs> position, huh? so, yep. And I don't know if she's like, into real acting. I'm, I'm sorry, it's true. It's, it's she only been acting for AKB shows. I yeah. <laughs> yeah, but she's cool though. Mm -hmm. I, I, I'm a fan. I'm a fan of Sakuratan. I know, I know a certain member of our little group isn't, and I'm sorry, <laughs> you know, but I would say, um, like, you know, it, I've, it, gro I've grown to like her. Uh, so I've she's grown intense. to like her. Yeah, me too. Uh, well, after it, meeting her, you know, she's awesome. It, it, I, I misunderstood. I think her, her announcements could work. Maybe a bit better before she says things like destroying I, stuff. Destroying she, stuff. Uh, she might, yeah, you know. She might want to think about. <laughs> or what like, she says. like saying at her coming of age ceremony. Yeah, uh, we are the golden generation. Because uh, it's not nice. Ooh, what? <laughs> yeah. Well, okay. You rephrase, right? You like, might understand why yeah. she said it, but. I think Sakratan's part of her charm is her delusions of grandeur. She she's very good at that. Very yeah. good at that. But that's kind of, kind of at this point it's kind of funny because it's like, come on, Sakratan, like you you're you're not gonna destroy a crush AKB and you're not the gold generation because that's already happened. Yeah. Um, but that's how you, you, you could be the third gen golden generation. I right, can, you could have yeah, that it might one. be. But but you keep thinking that Sakuratan. It's okay. It's fine. We 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 adore you. You're the little annoying emoto. Oh, so it's, it's all good. <laughs> uh, <laughs> oh, <man. laughs> I'm looking forward to WIP. Oh yeah, yeah. Next month, the rest yeah. of the matches once. Uh, like a lot of members are still doing it. They're practicing. I'm seeing moon salts. Mm -hmm. I'm seeing running the ropes. Yep. I'm seeing holds. <laughs> So I'm getting ready for that. Uh, the good thing about that is that a lot of those girls that are coming back, they've already done all that. So yep. it's like it's going to be just yeah. slipping back into the role. They're not going to be like completely fumbling around. And I'm calling someone else because uh -oh. I've watched a certain guest, uh, Mr. Josh Box. Ooh. So he said, um, wonder if it takes, oh, they have to practice a lot again. They have to learn a lot again. Here's the thing, though. 
wrestling. It's like riding a bike. You never forget. Mm. The moves you learn, the basics, they, they stick. They, you've done it so many times the first time, you remember it. And it, it doesn't matter how many matches you have in between, and that's why they can do these events. You just have to, you know, take a little step back like, oh yeah, this is how it goes, like they are doing now. They are preparing, they are running the ropes, and doing the, the moonsaults again. But they know this. It's still in them. So you're probably going to see a lot more stuff this time. Because mm. they're, they're going to learn so many more things. And of course, they're all involved with New Japan Pro Wrestling. Even Judy and I got an award for it, like for a sports yeah. uh, ceremony. Yep. And if I found it funny, you had the three top guys from New Japan Pro Wrestling. And then Juna in this beautiful red dress. And yeah, Naito. Naito. He's the only one Put to see Naito. Trophy. Yeah, it's like, I don't care. I'm still a heel. It's yeah. like, I'm too cool. <clears throat> so, I'm really looking forward to that one. Mm, I'm well, wondering if we're going to get new finish uh, finishing moves, like the Blade Runner or... Maybe. That's, that's, the, that's the fun part, I would say. Yeah, true, true. Can't Gonna wait, be... Crazy. Makes me okay. wonder if uh, Tofu Pro Wrestling is going to have two events this year. The Queendom and the Climax again. Ah, oh, that's a good was... question. Maybe. Interesting, actually. Because the Wrestle Kingdom and Climax are the biggest events on NJPW, so it would make sense if they also had a similar schedule, I would say. Like the G1 again, like the yeah. Climax 2 or something. Yeah, Climax something like 2018. Could be. I wonder what the sales are going. And yeah, mm. if the members are up for it because it still hurts in the end. Yeah, true. They, they uh, emailed me about it though too. Like, oh, the Quindam tickets are not available at the ticket center. I'm like, what? <laughs> 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 kind of hoping nice. there is actually a climax because usually it's around August and I happen to be there. So I kind of want Oh yeah, speaking of wrestling, I have a Blackberry Mion and Sakura... And my first slot in my uh, Shamekai in the really? room. So, oh, wow. like, no, I actually I'm just scared, ordered. Um, actually, just ordered the Taguchi Juina shirt from the NJPW shop today. Nice, nice, nice. nice. Everybody's up on their game. Their their Woda fandom. Nice. <laughs> okay, so we've been recording for an hour now. Um, oh, yeah. that unbelievably. Fast. Do you want to call it, or do we want to do more? One more topic. Well, Let's go, man. We, we went through so much today. Yeah, we can, might as well go I'm, I'm, I'm so itching to, to keep going. Yeah. Okay. So, there's one more topic I want to talk about. And there was a picture that I sent you guys uh, during the week. And it was a certain K Kizaka 46 member oh. on a radio oh. show. Ooh. All right. So, who <laughs> those who don't know, we saw a picture of Hirate Yurina, who mm. appeared in a orthopedic cast. Yep. Mm. So, what do you guys think of that? Well, mm. we talked about resting up Tetsi, so now she has to rest up pretty much. So, looks like our prediction came too. So, yeah. Okay. I, I think when she hit her head on Fukuon at the uh, Kohaku, she hit it a little too hard. She's out of her mind. Like this, this girl. Like I, I love Tetsi. Don't get me wrong. I don't care. All the Tetsi haters, they can just go whatever. They can go suck it. But it's just, like, honestly, like Tetsi's amazing. Um, no matter what she does or how she does it or how moody she is. But when I saw that, I'm like, really? Like, come on. Like, what are you doing? And it, she goes from being happy on the radio, Tetchy, to performing I Hate My Life, Tetchy. And it's just, there's such a gap between, like, what we see on stage versus her offstage demeanor that it's almost impossible to think of her as one person. I actually think she has a twin and, and, and we see the twin on stage and then we see like the real Tetchy, like normal teenager Tetchy. And cause it's just, how can the one person be two totally different? Like it's like a total dichotomy with her. And, and that was the most paralyzing thing about what you sent. And also just in general, you know, overall I'd say with Kei Kizaka, what's going on? Like they've imploded, you know, and, and they've been having nothing but problems and, and and just I, I just don't get it. I mean, even from like the whole the whole recent announcement with the concerts and what like what the one the the whole group was they weren't even gonna perform. Like, wh what is going on well, with so, them? So Budokan is now uh, going to be performed by Hiragana, right? Yeah, right. Hiragana like, is what's going, going to take on over. With them? Yeah. So now, well, people are speculating, and maybe there's something else on, uh, going on. It so has to the, be. 
it's like, well, Hirate is out, so the whole group is out. Is that the idea? So, mm -hmm. or maybe the whole group falls apart, like the House of Cards, because they don't have their center. Mm -hmm. Maybe that's the situation. But but, but here's I the thing. I don't believe we, that. No, no, no. Look, when you got Nero selling a ridiculous amount of photo books and clearly is a fan favorite, you have Sugai Sama, who is unbelievably talented. You have so many leaders in Kea. What is going on? Like, there, there has to be some kind of a management problem that we're obviously not seeing. I, again, I hate being conspiracy theorist guy, but it's just there is so much more to what we're seeing. There has to be. You can't tell me because, like, like if Achan fell in AK Bingo, just another the Yuko picks up. You know what I mean? There, there, and and K has the makings of early day AKB. You know, we've start we've seen them blossom out of this palette of like straight face girls on you know k bingo to they actually have personalities and like we we know them now I, I i don't i don't buy it for a second i think there's something really bad going on i think they might have been that lightning flash in a pan group that now is now just going to be a normal idol girl full of problems and and they're not going to be good anymore or this could just be growing pains and and we're just you know where they're know. gonna come back hard. I don't know. And, well, I, you, and, you know, and, you know, yeah. hold on. You know, it's gonna be the biggest indicator. Their next song. Yeah. Let's see what it is. I, I think that's a, that's a very good good answer to that because mm. I there was a showroom recently and all the member well five of them were just on there like uh, Odanana with her new uh, haircut was there and, and mm. they were just having fun and everything was fine yeah. and yeah and I believe are aren't you guys having like issues? It's like. We, we, as fans, we, we have a belief like there is something wrong. We do. And maybe they're holding it up. Maybe they're covering it up. Go ahead. Mm -hmm. You have a um, bright idea. I, I saw that. So Yes. So, uh, again, I, I've i had limited exposure with idols as far as, like, the underground idol world. Maybe mm -hmm. different major idols. But just in general, I can tell you from seeing the behind the scenes with, like, working with, like, Necronomital, there is definitely the Necronomital on stage and the Necronomital off stage, and they are mm -hmm. totally different. Um, not in a bad way, just different in the sense that, like, they know how to put on a show and leave their personal crap aside. And and then, like, you know, whatever they're going through, whatever they're dealing with, however they're feeling that day, um, you know, they don't let that get in the way of their performance. So to, to what you just said, in showroom is a performance. You know what I mean? It, it, it's a way to make money. And so mm -hmm. it's very possible all those girls were putting on their best faces. And then as soon as that camera button clicks off, they're going to go back to whatever the problem is that's causing all this. Or it could just be they're, they're not – those particular group members in showroom weren't subjected to whatever's going on or they just – you know, it isn't affecting them directly. I don't know. But the point is there is definitely – Something. From, there, from mm -hmm. working a little bit behind the scenes with idols now, it's just – I, I can see and sense that there there seems to be something either really wrong that needs fixed or they've just imploded because of their ridiculous rise to stardom last year or it could be a lot of other things. But I'm hoping it's just growing pains. I'm hoping it's yeah, just something they're going to get over. And the new song will tell us that. The new song, mm -hmm. if it's done well, if you know if they can keep up their craziness with – how unique every song is then at the end of the day does it really matter as long as they put out good quality stuff mm -hmm. you know does that make sense it really does yeah yeah <laughs> so we'll see. um what what i want to mention though is um it's fun enough when i see some comments and like in in various me outlets they're saying like with the cast they were like oh what did she do she had a new song she broke her arm done like that it's like take a step back i would say so Fuku Ion, they performed it a lot in 2017. In the full version, what is one of the scenes that happens a lot? Mm. Anyone? Maybe the Superman punch thing? No. So, oh, no. The worst mm -hmm. Well, maybe. But there's one thing, and we know that Tetsuji likes to uh, give it her all in a performance. Mm-hmm. So you have to build up. You have to, well, almost there. You got it. You're mm -hmm. very close, Yo. So before the final build up of the song, they all fall fall down, right? Yeah, they fall. Yeah. Right. How does Tetsu fall? On her arms. On her shoulder. Yeah, on her shoulder. She, she probably dislocated falls it. Falls 
so much on the shoulder. Not not even that. It's just mm. Mm. it's Kohaku. It's CDTV. It's this performance. It's this concert. It's bam, bam, bam. It's like once uh, every week she she falls on her shoulder, maybe uh, twice on a day, or maybe uh, multiple times. And this 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 is tenure. This is like it may be just not even dislocation. It may be not. It may be just like a little. Hey, my arm hurts lately, and they've been ch- she's been checked out. It's like okay, well we can see there's something wrong with your muscles, with something wrong with your bone. It's a minor surgery, but yeah, you need to be in a cast. So mm-hmm. maybe not even that severe. It's just tenure because she's been you know doing a lot and she can't perform on her fullest. So hey, do we have time for this uh, operation in the meantime? You have to be in a cast for a week or something or two weeks. Hmm. Well, well, I I know when they did Fukuon on Kohaku, I mean she, I mean she hit that ground so hard, you you heard it, yeah. and so it is possible she hit her arm real bad too, you know, and in addition to cracking her head on the ground, and and I think um, you know Techi doing the best she could to complete that performance, and and I give her all all I give all those girls credit for doing what they could um to to make that still work for them. I I think though in that sense she's just beat up. You know, again, but but this is this is how you get be- better as an idol. This is how you improve your endurance. You know, um, so you can do Fuku one three times in a day, no matter what, with costume changes, running around, game change. Um, they'll build, they'll build, they'll get there. And, and she's still a child. She's still very young. You 16. know, at the end, of, yeah, at the end of the day, she's still she's still a little kid. You know, in my opinion, in my opinion, um, she she's sixteen going on like thirty, but she's like. She's still a kid, you know. Her body's still growing. All it takes is one bad hit, like you said, Robin. It, it could just, you know, she might she might need a break. But either way, my my point is with her is just like the gap between the Tetchi that smiles and the Tetchi that doesn't is so huge. I, I seriously wonder if sometimes she has split personality because it's just she's just she's a beast on stage, but it's also like when we see her variety show, she hates her life, but then she's on this radio show and she's like, she's like normal teenage girl, yeah. you know, hmm. it's weird. Probably, it's just, it's probably so she's weird. bipolar. Could be. Yeah. Might could be. be. Mm. Mm. We'll that's kind of interesting. That's kind of interesting. If she is like to have an idol that's openly like mental like that, it, it's not necessarily the world's worst thing. It's interesting. I mean, from a fan point of view, um, I'm not saying mental disorder should be something that we should be happy about when somebody has, I, I'm, I'm not advocating that at all. I work, you know, worked in the mental field. I, I don't advocate that, but what I'm saying is it's just interesting that somebody that can have those kind of problems could also be the center position. It actually is encouraging and inspiring. I think for people that have those kind of issues to say, Hey, look, even though I'm having these problems, I can still front one of the biggest idol groups in the world. One of the most yeah. interesting ones, certainly by far. Does that, yeah, that, that to me is where I'm coming with at with that. But we'll see. We'll see what happens. I mean, <laughs> Kaya yeah. never fails to be interesting. <laughs> so, yeah, yeah that's definitely, true. <laughs> you definitely said it. It's their next song will definitely tell. It'll tell us. It'll tell us okay. if they got they got they got the longevity uh, to their name, or if you know they were a, a one year wonder and bye. You know, mm. see you later, Jaya. <laughs> I hope not. I, I hope not too. too. I really do too. Yep. Yeah. Okay. Um, well, I'm out of ideas. Anyone else? Something. Um, Maybe uh, uh, maybe uh, on the last episode we mentioned the video site 48 Video Doga being in financial trouble. Uh, How's it going? They, sorry. How's it going on their side? Well, they finally got the PayPal working, and let me just and we will link the of course we will link the address, but they accept the donations now either via PayPal or via Bitcoin. So and the address. Yeah. To which you can donate to i will put it in the description Bitcoin. oh my god Bitcoin. yeah Bitcoin. I know. <laughs> well i you know what people the, well, i mean don't don't just be a fan passively like get out there and, and donate you know they they've done a tremendous amount for us and uh, we've talked about it but it's that should happen i i don't know i we this community exists because of people like them like us like them you know what i mean so let's help them out that would be cool too all right um, I would say then let's wrap up this week's episode. Well, yeah. part one of this week's episode because Sunday we're going to do another one as usual. Yay. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Oh, uh, yeah. I have a question for everyone. Oh. Because they might announce it. So, who do you think the 51st single center is? Oh. Probably Nachan. Probably Nachan, yeah. The album is coming out first. Yeah. 
Yeah, but they 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 usually announce the single at the re- request hour. So who do you think? Oh, who do you think? Oh yeah, I don't, it's, uh, I don't know. Today, it's <laughs> I don't know. Like I don't want to. I don't want to well, guess. Well, no, the the more interesting question to that is: Is it only going to be AKB? Yeah, or that's the first be... question that needs to be answered. Everybody, because if it's everybody, I vote Tanya, of course. But it won't happen. But you know, be nice. If, if, it if it's if it's everybody, then I'm gonna say, surprise, surprise, Matsu Jutna. Yeah. Same. Actually, I was just gonna say it'd be Jutna. Yeah, same here. Because it, it would be a nice lead up to Sasankyo. To build, or if AKB wants to support on their own, it's got to be Nachan. It has mm-hmm. to be. So, or if it's going to be a pure AKB song, why not use one of the new captains, either Okabe? That would be cool. Komi Takajuri. Cool. Oh, Takajuri. Oh, Mariam Yuri. Let's go that route then. Maybe. I'm, sign me up yeah. for that. I would. I would take any. Actually, any of those members would be good. Um, Okabe Rene ain't gonna be here though. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, we need some luck, yeah. So <laughs> we'll see what happens. Um, okay. Good question. Any recommendations? Well, let's let's save recommendations because we're gonna do Sunday uh, yeah. as well, so show. And it's almost one o'clock, and I need to get up in request hour. Watch it. You know? Six yeah. hours. Yeah, request hour. That's definitely coming. the request hour on Saturday. I would say, yeah. And streamed. Mm. Yeah, it's gonna get streamed somewhere. Oh boy. Well, I got a lot of homework. <laughs> I have so much to watch. And and not just you know, on, on Idol World. I just... I plan too much sometimes. <laughs> I can't it, it, you know what the thing is? And I will we'll throw it in the show as well, I would say. When I started the show, I had a lot of free time. Mm-hmm. And that was because my job was only once a week. Mm-hmm. And, and didn't help anyway. And yeah, it changed. And now I have like a full-time job. And, mm. and recently, of course, in a relationship, and it's getting tough. It's getting tough to actually follow these things. And I'm I'm very glad I have the community. I have you guys. That hey, it, mm. it, if it's really really important, you can always inform me. And I'm always happy to see these messages because I don't want to be left out. And, and it feels like it, it's now a hassle to, to to follow it. But I'm really really, I'm gonna keep gonna keep good doing the show. And, well, we are going to keep doing the show because I'm really having love uh, with this. It's now, almost now to episode 80. Maybe we're going to go episode 100, yep. 200. Oh, keep going with this. Um, yeah, we can't do this without you. And, and I'm really grateful for all you guys. Aww, oh yay. yeah! I thought for a second you were going to announce your graduation. No, I was no. like, no, <laughs> please, no, 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 no. No, oh, man. All right. So... With that, or does anyone want to even something else? I I just want to say a couple days, I'll probably have my massive blog right up if, if I can get in a writing mode, mm. and it's going to be epic. I have so much to talk about the idols, and, and I you don't want to miss that. But also, too, also happy to be back. So, you know, awesome. back on schedule, at least for a month and a half or so. So we'll see. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so, got to go back, so. Okay. So then, um, yeah, on Sunday we're going to record a new one. Uh, because you know we didn't uh, record the last one in the snow, so two episodes this week, I would say. Yes, yeah, but again, yep. thank you for watching this week's episode of Forty Eight Talk. We'll see you next time. Take Bye, it away, everybody. Yeah. Take it away. What was thank that? Thank you. <laughs> you know the boat. You know the steam.